What's up everyone, this is I Talk is Tech, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you an awesome, underrated iOS 13 glitch that literally, I think, improves the user experience when the user experience gets destroyed by bugs and glitches. So, in the latest version of iOS 13, it's expected that the latest operating system should perform well, but unfortunately, even on the newer devices, there are some weird bugs and glitches. I've been noticing some weird camera glitches whenever I try to open up the camera on my iPhone 11. I even made a video about it. But huge thanks to this guy right here. Go follow him on Twitter. He has an awesome city alternative as well. Go check him out. This guy is amazing. But he found an amazing glitch for the iPhone that can pretty much fix any bug on the iPhone. But on top of that, it's really good for jailbreak users. So I'll explain everything later in the video. So basically, he found a respring bug. And what this allows you to do is rather than completely shutting down your iPhone and then turning it back on again, having to retype in the password and all that stuff, you know, rather than doing all of that in order to like fix a weird glitch or issue on your iPhone, instead, what you can do is a very convenient gesture in the widget panel. So like I said, you no longer need to be dealing with this password screen rather than doing face ID. All you need to do is just swipe down and then swipe back up in the widget panel and it has the same effect. So your iPhone will actually restart, but it takes like five seconds and then your phone can immediately unlock. So this is basically like having the equivalent of restarting your iPhone, but it's so much faster and so much better. So no more having to deal with retyping in your password again. You know, for me, that's actually a big deal because my password 21 digits. So you know, a 21 digit passcode is pretty annoying. But also, I just want to mention that whenever you do shut down your iPhone and turn it back on again, it uses up a ton of battery. And on top of that, if you are experiencing cellular data, like problems or Wi-Fi problems, like with connecting to the cell towers and things like that, you can actually use this respring bug and it does a pretty good job of reconnecting to the internet. If you are in like a low coverage area, it could be the difference of being able to send a text or not. So this bug is actually pretty useful. It can basically fix any weird glitches that you like, you know, are on a rare occurrence. For example, I have like some weird keyboard glitches in iMessage that aren't fixed or like if any like weird display issues happens like in the music app or anything like that on iOS 13 that just kind of gets in the way of your experience that you want to get rid of, go ahead and do this respring glitch. It is awesome. You don't need reduced motion turned on. You don't need anything turned on. Just swipe up and down really fast in the widget panel and boom, your iPhone is going to be at optimal performance. So I really recommend you guys do check that out. And if you are jailbroken, you would obviously know that you do need a tweak to respring your device conveniently. And it can be, I guess, a little bit of a haggle in order to do so, which is why if you're a jailbreak user, this could come in handy pretty often. So thank you so much for watching. Huge thanks to Aiden for finding this glitch. I'll leave his Twitter link in the description. So go check him out. And as always, peace.